my take on Pepsi. Well, one thing I can tell you is you don't want to mess with her because she will fuck you up. Can I curse? Is that all right? Sure. Oh, okay. Um, I wouldn't imagine it any other way. It's something else about our dear Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> she has a way with words and uses any and all of them that she deems appropriate for the situation. Um, it's funny, we were talking the other day and she told me that I was all heart. And I looked at her and I thought to myself, so are you, because that's the side of her that I see, because I've always been good to her. And if you're good to Pepsi, or Nicola, what should I call you for the interview? I'm already fucking it up. <laughs> um, well, the interview is called the, the Girl They Call Pepsi, so I guess we could go with oh, Pepsi. Yeah, all right. That's Well, that's the name I know you as. Yeah, that's how we met. Mm -hmm. We met years ago when I was talking to this guy, Tony. I can say his name? Mm -hmm. All right. And um, he was cute. I was out riding my bike around um, Helen Bay Park and the Bronx Zoo. And I, I don't know, somehow or other, I managed to meet him. And so we started talking. I brought him back to my apartment. And the next thing I know, he forgot all about me because um, Erica came in the room. And Erica proved to be just one of the three girls that he would seduce in my apartment. I found out later and seduced and had sex with. But Erica ended up with the kids by him. And of course their relationship wasn't last, wasn't to last very long because he was just an opportunist really. Very suave, very good looking, but um, I mean, I don't know, I, I think on some level people do what they need to do to survive, but it's all comes down to this old adage of judge not lest ye be judged, but we can't really help judging people. I don't know. I smoked a little marijuana, <laughs> you can't tell out there, and whoever is We won't tell anybody, this, it's okay. Yeah, but um, I don't know, Pepsi's one of my favorite friends, for sure, and probably one of my friends that I tell more of real private things to, that I wouldn't tell to just everybody. When we haven't seen each other in years or months or weeks, it doesn't matter, we just pick up where we left off. She's... um. She's lived through a lot. She's incredibly resilient. But um, yeah, just don't mess with um, don't mess with Pepsi because she'll fuck you up. She's very proficient with knives. Can I? I don't know. I don't want to give away your secrets. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. She has so many hidden around her uh, apartment, well, and there she knows where all of them are. But if you're a guest in her apartment, you don't, and that's the point. So just in case she's ever in jeopardy or in peril, she knows that she can defend herself. And she's quite proficient at that. She always tells me, like, which bones I have to... It only takes five pounds of pressure to break someone's hand. It was just the other day. And, and when I'm reading this, of course she knows that I'm probably never going to use this and break someone's hand. So it just goes in one ear and out the other one. But, um, you know, oh, good to know. And something about which ribs I have to hit if I, I can get right to their heart. Between the fourth and fifth ribs, this is a straight line, straight to the heart. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I imagine the heart to be roughly around here, but I, I'm i not a medical doctor. <laughs> no, not like um, Dr. Pregunta, but that's another subject. <laughs> anyway, um... I don't know what else to say, but um, she is probably not going to be with someone in a couple relationship in a conventional way because she has already told me that she is polyamorous. She's not interested in that ideology, I guess that old-fashioned belief that it should be two people being faithful to each other. She uh, is more, She's aware that she needs more than that. I guess. Does that make sense? Is that right? Well, I mean, <clears throat> that I wouldn't close myself off to falling in love with another person. 
if he wanted that and he came along and he was perfect and all, he checked all the boxes. Right. But, but I would have to also run them by my partner. You know what I mean? Like I would, ha you need to come meet my partner. By your other part, by your already partner. Right. Ah, I see. Because so. everything has to be open. Everything has to be honest. That's the way it has to work for me. Okay. And, well, basically, I mean, you know, you, when it comes to your friends, you just want them to be happy their way. So that's what I wish for her. You know, not everything has to be understood by everybody, but if it's explained to you, that's very nice. And I appreciate that. She didn't have to even go that far, but because we're good friends, I got the explanation. So I can understand a facet of life that might not be for me, but it's still interesting to me. It's something that is an option that I would have never known about were it not for you. And some other people, of course, there's a lot of people going around living their lives in that way. These days, in the year 2022, this is January 19th. How like many years roundabout do you think we know each other? Um, well, we probably met in 1991 when you said you were 15 or yeah, around there. Yeah, then. And, yeah, I've known you ever since, and certain things have brought us closer. 31 years. One of the few times you reached out that you needed someone for something, which is not something that Pepsi does often or easily. <laughs> I felt privileged that she asked me to accompany her to like a doctor's appointment where she needed someone to bring her home and I was, I jumped at the chance because this is one of my favorite friends as I said before and I hadn't seen her in a while. So you know, we got a chance to catch up and it was uh, my pleasure, you know. She's done a lot for me. When my boyfriend got crazy and sliced his leg open. And I knew that he had to be out of the house, and it had to be now. And I basically, he understood that, and I got him out of the house. But uh, I don't know, this is thinking back now, three years and three, four months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, more than three and a half years ago, it would have been. So, yeah, I was, like, a little bit afraid, because my ex, Louis, was kind of a big guy, and, you know much stronger than me. He could have bullied me. And he was kind of bullying me into staying here long after I wanted him to leave. But when he sliced open his leg, that was like the last straw. And it was my excuse to get rid of him. But without Pepsi here, I couldn't have done it. And that was around the same time that Erica came here to stay. Mm -hmm. And I was happy for that company. She was staying in my living room. Erica is one of my good friends. Eric's sister. Um, but yeah, I don't know, how's that? Do, should I say some more? Well, yeah, those are the, the types of stories I'm actually looking for. Because honestly, part of... And then here she is again, <laughs> and I just threw my most recent boyfriend out after three years of happiness and four months of... <sighs> hell. Of hell, yeah. Just watching when you love someone who takes psych medications and then they're off their medication, what you have to deal with is just like a whole lot of crazy. Basically, it's, it's like another side to someone's personality, that, but one that you've never seen before because it's all about devious intentions and anything that, that he might be likely to think or do is taken to the extreme. And, you, and he would get paranoid and he was screaming for hours in the bathroom. And I knew that uh, this would be hard because today I had him arrested and today he gets out of the psych, tomorrow, it's not after midnight. Today he gets out of the psych ward and I'm gonna have to probably deal with him at my door wanting his cell phone and, a, and at least a jacket. I want him to have those things. But at the same time, I wanna make sure that like I'm safe. And having Pepsi here gives me that that extra feeling of yes, yeah, somebody is around that has my back. I got you. In case he he really flipped out and tried to be violent, because at this stage of the game, someone in his position, I mean, I don't know if he went back on his meds or not, which doesn't affect necessarily how I feel about him, but. Um, 
sometimes you have to choose yourself over your partner and my instinct is to want to take care of him because I really love this man but I know that if he comes back here my life will be miserable again if it, even if he comes and apologizes and everything's fine for a couple of months I know that if he's still here like six months from now or a year from now one of these old days he, he's like um, he's just more likely to lose his shit at any given moment and then there's the paranoia you know and it's hard when you really love someone to realize that you have to choose yourself but this is what my friend Pepsi is helping me to do because she has had she's been in similar situations where she was fighting for her life against a man that was much bigger and stronger than her that's why she knows so many self-defense techniques because she needed to know them to defend her sweet self all four foot eleven <laughs> and three quarters well don't forget that three quarters or she'll whip her dick out and smack you with <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl or well yeah 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 all right <laughs> we're good so yeah we're good okay